Hello everyone, this is my first YouTube video and I'm going to show you the development of my robotic course project. It is a 5 degrees of freedom robotic arm with an USB interface. Well, first of all the basic mechanical design is not mine. Someone at the National University of Columbia made it some time ago, so I took it and improved it, adding some extra things like 2 degrees of freedom and the whole control system. The structure is made of plexiglass and has two 9 gram servos and three standard servos. It is intended to be a deductive robotic arm for general purposes, and the aim is to design the pet algorithm in order to trace a road over some plane inside its work envelope. Through the quality function deploy QFD, I could define the design problem and find a better way to solve it regarding to the structure and motion range of the former design. Anyway, I had to ignore some of the items coming from the QFD in order to reduce the costs. So the first thing I realized out of the QFD was that I needed some extra degrees of freedom. I decided that two extra would be fine, because with five degrees of freedom, it's just enough to describe a plane in the space, keeping the end effect or normal to that plane, and that is just what I was looking for. So, the next step was to start from the old design. I didn't have the designed files, so I took the dimensions using a caliper and made the layout. While doing it, some minor details came out, helping me to improve my new design. The second joint was skew and the shaft material was not defined. The first joint was centered which limited the motion range. So, after some days, I had the new design. I used Reno for 3D modeling and exported the solids for MATLAB in a virtual reality file. Using some of the tools inside the robotic toolbox that my teachers made some years ago, that way I was able to obtain the direct and inverse schematics of the model. Now comes the manufacturing stage. The plexiglass has been cut by laser and assembled by myself with some simple tools. At the same time I developed the C code for the microcontroller unit that I was going to use. It's a microchip Aking F4550 which includes an USB model. I based on an application made by Gabriel Pool from the Universidad Modelo in Mexico. Check the description for details on that. Here's the direct pneumatic model in MATLAB, showing some sinus functions over the joints. This simulation is based on the virtual reality files that I made in Reno and imported to MATLAB. So, here in MATLAB I did the direct pneumatic model and used it an HG transform in order to produce the movement. Here we can see the five axes moving just like they did in the MATLAB simulation that I showed you before. This is a test of the movement of the last two degrees of freedom, where we can see how they are moving independently and together. The inverse kinematics let us know which angles should take all the joints in the robot in order to obtain a special position in the space. Here I'm showing you how my robot draws a circle in the X and Y plane. That weird noise comes from the shaft of the joints. I made them with plexiglass too and I didn't use any lubricant. Here I'm drawing some straight lines over Y, and those little vibrations are made by the friction on the joints. 16 kilobytes of data is sent to the USB every millisecond by MATLAB. Now I'm drawing a line over the C axis.
And finally, a circle over the y and c plane. All these functions should be in a parametric description. That way we can obtain the three components and calculate the inverse kinematics by solving the geometry of the robot and the orientations are calculated from the first three angles and the vector that describe the orientation which could be also parametric or fixed. This is the overview of the structure and its parts. At the bottom, we can find the first joint and the first servo. At the left is the breadboard with the microcontroller unit and the USB cable. The second joint and its servo. This is the one that needs more power because the weight of the arm, especially when extended. At the end, the two extra degrees of freedom and those small blue servos. At the elbow, the third joint and all the power and data cables for the three upper servos. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and find it useful. Thanks for watching.